Hello friends, welcome to this worship experience. So I want you to take a moment and think about all that God has done. He's been a faithful father. He's been a loving God. He's the God who stays. If you remember any of those words to describe Jesus this morning, just describe him. He's the King of Kings. He's the Lord of Lords. He's the Rock of Ages. He's the God that never changes. Hallelujah. So if you're with me this morning, we are going to sing a lot of songs. We are going to clap. We are going to dance in appreciation of all that God has done in our lives, of all that he, would, he is doing in our lives, and, and for all that he is yet to do in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Put your hands together to the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the I am that I am, the God who sits upon the cycle of the earth, the God who never changes. Father, we worship you this morning. So I want you to stand up if you're still sitting. Stand up, make sure nothing is distracting you and let us pray and worship God this morning. We are praying. Close your eyes, put your hands together, let's say our prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you because there is none like you. We thank you because you are the great I am. We thank you because you are the God who never changes. We appreciate you. Father, as we worship, before you as we dance and sing and celebrate you this morning. We ask, Lord, that you will hold our hands, that you will dance with us, that you will embrace us and change our lives. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. I need your amen to be louder. Amen. Put your hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, I know God made me and I know God loves me and he knows what's best for me because he knows every single thing and i believe his promise is true because everything he says he will do on a sunday monday tuesday So come 
For that awesome time of praise as we worship you with this song this morning father we really mean these words god you are greater you are stronger you are higher than any other hallelujah
night has fallen when fear is coming still you're calling me when faith is lost and my hope exhausted you will be my strength when my mind says I'm
Today, praise the living Jesus. Let's close our eyes and pray. Father, we thank you for this beautiful time in your presence. We thank you because in this time you have healed us, you have broken every chain, you have made a way, and you have lifted us. Father, as we learn at your feet this morning, we we'll pray that you will speak to us yourself. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. No, you have to do that again. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Good morning, children. Good morning is another amazing Sunday. Yay! And how are you today? Oh, you're good. And how are you too? Oh, you're fine. Oh, you said I didn't ask you. Okay. How are you too? Oh, you're good. Oh, I'm fine. Thank you. I'm very, very fine. Thank you for asking. Thank you for asking. So, you know it's Sunday. What do we do? After the praise and the worship, we dive into the Word of God. So let's all sit down quietly, eliminate all distractions. It's time for us to dive in. What's the first thing we do? What's the first thing? We check for our five items. Great. So now let's bring out our files, all neatly packed up. Let's begin to check them, one after the other. So do you have your notebook? Check. Your pen or your pencil? Check. Your fresh fire? Check. Your Bible? Check. And your offering? Check. So it's check, 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 and check. Great. Oh, you don't have your fresh fire. Like I said last week, it's not a problem. Just ask mommy or daddy to come over to church office or the resource stand. Look at your copy of the Fresh Fire so that we can all keep studying every Sunday and learning amazing things, fantastic things, wonderful things, and learn more about Jesus. Great, great, great. So now let's open our Fresh Fires. We're going to page 19 and page 20. So today is 19 and 20. Wow, the month is already coming to an end. Ooh, yes. GFH, we are lifted all the way. Remember to do your hands the way I do mine. We are lifted all the way. Are we there now? 
Great. So today's topic is light January review. So we're reviewing all we've learned this month. You remember light the beginning, light the sunflower. Yes, you remember lifting. Great, 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 great. And basketful, light basketful. So we've learned so much. I'm going to teach you something else today. Hmm, what could that be? We'll find out as we go into the word of God. Now, hmm. Remember that the first thing we talked about was light, the beginning. Yes, yes, yes. And you know, we learned that just like God, we all begin with light. Because God began with light. He said, let there be light. And there was light. So we must begin with light in all that we do. It has to be light in our character, light in our behavior, light in how we react and interact with others. There has to be light when we study, there has to be light in every area of our lives. So just like God, you and I, we all need to begin with light. Now, where do we find the light? Tell me. It's a review, so you have to be ready to answer my questions. Where do we find this light? In Jesus. Great, 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 great. Now, Jesus is our light. Jesus is our light. Let your light shine. Oh, 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 oh. let your light shine. Oh, oh, oh. let your light shine and let Jesus shine through. Let your light shine. Let your light shine. Let your light shine and let Jesus shine through you. Let your light shine and let Jesus shine through you. So Jesus has to shine through you in everything. God's word is a major source of light for us because we study the word of God and we learn about God and everything in our life just illuminates just like God and his light will shine far and far and far and far in all that we do. And we are going to take the world for Jesus because we are children rich in others for Christ's kingdom. Good, good, good. Remember we talked about the switch? Like you switch the light off and you switch the light on and when it's off, what happens in the dark room? We stumble and fall, good. And if we need to see what we have to do, we switch on the light. Great, 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 great. And you know this is a new year. The year 2021, the year of lifting. So, in everything we do this year, every month, every day, every hour, every minute, and every second, the light of God will shine through us. Yes, so that's what we learned the first time. And then we learned about light like a sunflower, the beautiful, beautiful yellow sunflower, so pretty and so beautiful. And we learned how the sunflower tracks the sun from sunrise to sunset, waiting for it, for the sun to rise, to take all its nutrients from the sun until sunset. The sunflower is tracking the sun and he never gets tired. He never gets tired. Anywhere the sun comes, the sunflower blooms towards the sun. And anywhere Jesus is, we bloom towards Jesus. In the day and in the night, we all keep track of Jesus. So we have to behave ourselves. We have to always be a source of light to others. We have to help. Okay? We have to be humble. Good. What else? We have to be respectful. Yes. We have to be polite, good. Everything that we have to do has to show the light of God in us. So just like the sunflower, the beautiful sunflower, because you are a beautiful child of God, we have to keep track of God every day. Like a sunflower that follows every moment of the sun. Simplest
city, charity I follow. Like a sunflower that follows every moment of the sun. So I turn towards you to follow you, my God. And God's light is always there. And even in the dark, the light of God is so bright. And what do we say happens when the light of God is so bright? Darkness cannot comprehend it. Great, 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 great. Now, you know the sunflower is a plant, so I'm going to teach you something new. I thought I was going to teach you something new. Yes, we are always excited when we have to come here and teach you great things from God. So, you know, the sunflower is a plant, and the plant is part of the trees. Now, those trees and those plants, they get their source of light from the sun, right? Good. But they also respond to the sun in three ways. You want to know those three ways? Okay, I'm going to teach you. One, do you have your pen and your pencil? Do you have your notebook? You have to take notes. That's why we always ask you to bring your five items because we are going to use each and every one of them. So now let's write. One, photosynthesis. It's a long word, right? But you can see it written there. Photosynthesis. Great. Now, what's photosynthesis? Photosynthesis is when the plant takes light energy and changes it into food for itself. Oh, you didn't know plants eat. They eat food. Yes, God is their source. So when the sun comes up, the plant takes food from the sun. And then that's when it grows into all those fruits and vegetables that you like to eat. So that's photosynthesis. The second one is phototropism. Phototropism. Great, great, great. Now, when a plant bends towards the source of light, that's when it's phototropism. So if the light is here, for example, the sun rises this way and the light bends towards the sun. That's phototropism. Now, if the sun rises from this side and that same plant bends this way, that's phototropism because it's looking for food. You know, we talked about photosynthesis when it's taking food. Good. So, but when it bends to follow the sun, it becomes phototropism. Now, the third one, hmm, photoperiodism. What did I say? Let's say it together. One to go. Photoperiodism. Yes, 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 yes. Now, this is when a plant begins to flower, to develop, and to grow. When a flower begins to develop and to grow, that's what it is. So, we have the photosynthesis, phototropism, and photoperiodism. And just like this plant, just like the plants, you and I, we need to take light energy from God. We need to bend towards God so we learn every day by listening to the word of God, by studying, by fellowshipping with God. And we all need to grow. We all need to develop just like the plants. So just like the flower, just like the trees, we all need to come together to look unto the source of light in our lives, and that is God. Then we also learned about something called light basketful. And we talked about what you take in your baskets. You have fruit baskets, and a picnic basket, and a vegetable basket. And we talked about the basket, and we learned that it's so important for our lives to be filled with God's benefit for our lives to be filled with God's glory, for our lives to be so full, like a basket full in everything that pertains to God. And are you filled with the life of God? Are you filled with the life of Christ Jesus? So that's very, very, very important. Now, now, we also learned about what? 
lifting. And we talked about God going to lift us all up this year. In all that we do, we're going to see divine lifting. Yes, 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 yes. So we talked about being lifted in every way. And we said there are things we all need to do for us to be partakers of this lifting. And we have to stay humble. So as God is blessing us, we have to stay humble, very, very humble. We have to praise God. We have to be like God. And we have to do the things of God. And we must, we must. Read your Bible, pray every day, pray every day, pray every day. Read your Bible, pray every day if you want to grow. If you want to grow, if you want to grow. Read your Bible, pray every day if you want. Everything about God is super duper cool. Everything about God is so awesome. Everything about God is so beautiful. And everything about God shines bright and bright and brings light into our lives. Great, great, great. So now let's go to page 20. And, you know, we're going to read the Bible because light is so, so, so important. Now, there's a picture in page 20 and this picture is drawn from psalm 1 verse 2 so now let's open our bibles to psalm 1 verse 2 and it says he loves the lord's teaching he thinks about those teachings day and night he is strong like a tree planted by the river it produces fruit in season its leaves don't dry everything he does will succeed. And who is that he? You and I. Because we are like a tree planted by the river. We will produce fruit in due season. Our leaves will not dry and our leaves will not die. And everything we do will succeed in Jesus' name. Amen. So now look at the pictures. Look at the pictures. It just talks about the same thing we read. There's a young boy and he loves the word of God and he's studying the word of God and he loves it so much. He keeps it so dear to his heart. He delights in it and he meditates day and night. Just like we say, read your Bible and pray every day for you to grow. Then we see the boy. He's still studying. And then we go to the next picture and we see a girl planted by the streams of water. So we are planted every day by God's amazing, amazing love. And then we see the third picture. In all he does, he prospers. So everything the little boy is doing, he's prospering. And everything the little girl is doing, she's prospering. And you and I are going to prosper because we will do the things of God every time in Jesus' name. Amen. love God and we grow in his heart and we study the word of God, the light of his love and the light of his word, we will be like trees planted by the river and we all, all, you and I, we all will be lifted.
So we all are going to be lifted. We're going to shine forth. And our light is going to bloom and blossom. And our light is going to radiate all over the world. And everybody is going to know about Jesus from you and I. We're going to tell the world about Jesus. Tell our neighbors, tell our friends. We're going to tell them about Jesus because we are the light of God. And in the end of it all, we all will be lifted in everything that we do do fantastic praise the lord hallelujah praise 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 the lord ha ha hallelujah your word is good it's ever faithful with more than gold our hearts this month did you did you all write and take your notes I hope you were answering me mm, let me listen okay you were answering me fantastic fantastic so now it's time for us to take our life applications what do we do now let's all stand up put your right hand where on your chest great and repeat after me Jesus is my light I need to focus on Jesus daily. I will fix my heart 
on Jesus. So now let's take it again together this time. Jesus is my light. I need to focus on Jesus daily. I will fix my heart on Jesus. So we will all fix our hearts on Jesus. And Jesus is our light. And every day of our lives, our focus is on Jesus. And we are lifted all the way. So now let's sit down. Let's sit down quietly. I said, quietly. Eliminate all distractions. We are still studying. It's time for us to take our memory verse. Good. Now, our memory verse is taken from John chapter 1 verse 5. And it says, The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overpowered the light. Let's take this a second time. Our memory verse is taken from John chapter 1 verse 5 and it says, the light shines in the darkness and the darkness has not overpowered the light. So darkness cannot overpower us. Always remember that you are the light of the world. You are a city set on the hill. You will not be hidden. And darkness has no place in your life and in my life and in all our lives because the light of God will burst forth through us and we will be lifted in all that we do. Praise the Lord. Good. It's time for us to pray. We want to pray. Close your eyes. Put your hands together. We are going to say our prayers. Now let's all say, Dear Lord, just like your word says, I am light. I will stand and shine as light for many to know Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. We will all stand and we will all shine and we will all be bright and we will all illuminate the word of God and the light of God. It was so good to see you again today. And how are you too? Oh, you're good. You look good too, I know. Mm, you look so good. And I hope you're paying attention in school. You are. Okay, so remember to always study because we teach you here that you have to study and you have to learn and you have to grow and develop just like the trees. Yes, photosynthesis, phototropism, photoperiodism, just like the trees. We have to develop and grow every day of our lives. And talking about school, I hope you've been taking your hygiene very seriously because you know we take it very seriously here in God's favorite house. You do. Great, so let's sing the song together. One, two, go. Wash your hands, wash your hands, clean, clean, clean. Wash your hands, wash your hands, clean, clean, clean. Wash your hands for how long? 20 seconds. Use your sanitizers. And when you want to cough, don't cough. <coughs> How do you cough? <laughs> and remember, don't touch dirty surfaces. Great, great, great. So I'm about to go. So from me to you, till next time, it's bye-bye.